All right, in this final section, we're going to talk about uh, exporting your data out to an Excel or SPS um, sheet so you can uh, analyze the data uh, in that manner. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have some responses. Um, that'll help with that. And I'm going to show you that what I consider the easiest way. Uh, you can also get this information by going through the reports and there's many options there. However, uh, I have found this to be the easiest way. So click on Analyze. So that gives you your basic information. And over on the right hand side you have Export Data. And it's going to ask you to export to a CSV or Excel format. Basically two formats that you can export to. A CSV file which is comma delimited file and that's easy to import into Excel or an XML file and I have not uh, ever used this crystal um, file or program so I'm going to show you how to do a CSV file. Once you've decided upon that then you start looking at the data format. The data format, um, you have user responses. So each user is a row, one column per question. And individual responses, multiple rows for multi-select. And, and my advice to you is try all of them. You know, see which ones get what you want. And that way you can uh, send this information out. Uh, SPS formatted condensed, you have the, also the option of assigning values instead of text answers. Uh, if you remember back to that one question that was a uh, um, that had multiple options um, that we assigned values for uh, very useful being five to very useless being one and that is the numbers that will be um, printed out instead of the text answers which makes it a lot uh, a lot more easy to um, crunch the information in SPSS. So we're going to uh, send this information out in SPS format condensed, uh, export assigned values instead of text answers, and I believe I did that for the survey I had created. Um, and then any other information that you want to include as part of that information. Um, you know, if you had s these fields included, you can do that. So I'm going to leave date started, and then it's simple matter of exporting that data. It'll ask you if you want to save this file and we are going to go ahead and instead of saving it I'm just going to go ahead and open this thing and it should bring up a window uh, an Excel application and shows how the information is put in. Now if you look I didn't do a very good job in mine in uh, giving a, each question an alias so I end up getting the full question. Okay, uh, and you can see right away why that's probably a good thing to do. So, but everything is printed out. Uh, this one was select your member status. So one was for officers and two for cadets. So that came out okay, and uh, we'll be able to do some uh, frequency analysis on that. And then at the end, you know, here's uh, also text answers that you can pull out and do other things. You may have to clean up some some information, and based on on how they how they responded. So so obviously, uh, I didn't do a very good job in setting this up. So, you know, what we can do is we can go ahead and look at uh, another option. So, no, we don't want to save that. So, instead, I'm going to send it out as user response, individual responses. And we'll see what the difference is here. Let's open that again. Okay, so each, each, uh, each question comes out as its own line and then you it goes to the next question and uh, gives the information for that. Okay, so that's uh, another way. 
user responses, everything's going to be on the same row this time. And now we're getting somewhere. Now, if I was smart, I would have assigned these uh, values, and that would have made it a little easier for me to to uh, crunch the numbers. Well, since we've done everything else, let's do the last option, and we'll export that and open it. That apparently didn't go well, so we're not going to use that one. So my it looks like my best result here is going to be the user responses everything on one row and one column maybe try that again and that's going to be my best results um, and like I said, it was because I set up the survey poorly, uh, I didn't get what I want. So a recommendation is when you're setting up your survey, um, also test it out to the point where you're sending, um, exporting your data and make sure that you're getting it in the format that you want to see. If not, you have to go back to the design view and make some adjustments. Well, that is pretty much it on uh, how to use this survey tool. I may add some uh, additionals on how to set up templates, libraries, and email lists. Um, but uh, for the basics of this, I think you have enough to get started. So uh, bye for now.